Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Juan Melinda Pereira. Vow was something that was very really difficult, difficult for me to take. If beings are numberless, how can I help them? This seemed like many endless births and suffering for me. A being here, a being there, beings everywhere. And helping them seemed like social work. So how can we really help them? If we can force the one place where all beings come from, then our task would be easy. So let's narrow everything down to find this source. In the Rohitasa Sutra, the Rohitasa went from universe to universe looking for the end of the world. And the Buddha stopped him saying that in this fathom law, with his perception and mind that I described the world. So our world is made up of the six senses. When you narrow them down, they are the mental states. What is the source of all mental states? The thoughts. Before mental states and thoughts. It is the before thinking mind, the don't know mind. It is where we can become one with all beings. It is the source. In the Bahya Sutra, the Buddha refers to this. He says, here, whenever you see a form, simply see. Whenever you hear a sound, simply hear. Whenever you smell an aroma, simply smell. Whenever you taste a flavor, simply taste. Whenever you feel a sensation, simply feel. Whenever a thought arises, let it be just a thought. Then you will not exist. Whenever you do not exist, you will not be found in this world. Another world or in between, that is the end of suffering. Does this mean being passive and doing nothing? Of course not. This is where you get the correct situation, correct relationship and correct function for that moment. At this moment, what needs to be done is naturally arisen. It is not defiled. The more our before thinking minds get clearer and clearer, the more what needs to be done becomes clear. It's like our children bring us to play and we play with them, but we do not get attached to the toys or the game because we see children as children, toys as toys, and games as games. Also, we do not keep silent. If we see them playing with knives, Depending on their ages, our function is different. A child, we will quickly take the knife away. If it's an older child, we will explain and show how dangerous it is to play with knives and make sure that they are put away. This before thinking mind is so very fleeting and obscure and very difficult to capture. Through meditation and awareness, we can glimpse this moment. This is why the Buddha has placed sati or awareness as very important in his teachings. He commences the Mahasatipatthana Sutra referring to it as the Ekayano Maggo or the one path for the purification of beings. They are all methods to stay grounded and to be able to see this don't know mind. There are many sutras in the Pali Canon that point at this don't know mind as the as point to cut off the chain of the 12 limbs. 
because after this point with thoughts comes duality there is separation harmful to oneself and everyone but now before thinking mind becomes clear our view is clear we see things as they are it is correct view samaditi in the noble eightfold path and automatically our actions become correct correct function however small or cowardly it may look to the outside world it would be the correct thing to do at that moment sometimes those small things may look like we are rushing out to help someone or being actively involved there were these uh, quarreling monks in kosambi and the buddha tried to resolve the situation and then when he could not he went to the paralaya forest and uh, there was this seven day festival celebrated in savatthi where men behaved shamelessly and the buddha and the lay disciples ate in those food was sent to the monastery and monks refrained from going for arms round these are in contrast to buddha uh, rushing out across prince vidudabha's path to prevent him slaughtering buddha's sacred land and what about the little things we do silently that we underestimate so much the money things that we not give value to lighting incense bowing eating vegetables sweeping listening to the birds driving just as the buddha instructed to bahi of course are they not helping all beings whether we like it or not we are helping them whether we admit it or not whether we are aware of it or not we are helping them sometimes once correct situation correct relationship and correct function is not recognized by others due to their ignorance or karma you can tell and show a child how dangerous it dangerous it is to play with knives but yet if they go on playing this thing to you or when you are looking away we must try to maintain this do no mind no matter what because it is very important to go on planting good seeds this non dualistic state through choiceless awareness is where all beings reside and that is why helping all beings have become a vow the vow makes it our home a promise to all to come back home like a magnet we are drawn to it like a yo yo we come back to it the more we are at it this magnet grows stronger and stronger bigger and bigger and it becomes our gravity so that even if the world goes on tumbling we never lose ground sentient beings are numberless we vow to help them all